There are many things that will also impact how the software performs. Many of these issues are outside of AutoFlightLogic's control, but we expect to see these improve over time. These include DJI does not include any proximity sensors, object detection, or terrain mapping features within the aircraft, which means Autopilot is not capable of avoiding collisions automatically. When engaged in modes that result in lateral flight paths, Autopilot assumes that you have verified that there are no obstructions, such as trees or power lines, at or around the specified altitude. If the aircraft is on a collision course, override Autopilot immediately and apply the appropriate flight controls to avoid the collision. In most cases, the safest action is to fly straight up. DJI enables low battery fly home and auto land behavior on all aircraft types by default. Autopilot cannot control the aircraft when it enters this mode, so you will need to be prepared to disengage and or override Autopilot before the battery reaches whatever marker you've set. DJI enforces flight limits on all aircraft types by default. This means that your aircraft, and therefore Autopilot, can only operate in a restricted cylinder around the aircraft's home location. Windy conditions, typically over 15 to 25 miles an hour, will result in degraded flight performance as the aircraft must use some or all of its pitch and roll capability to maintain position and stability. While Autopilot does have adaptive horizontal power, which helps adjust for wind position, excessive wind may result in unavoidable course deviations such as flying in an ellipse pattern during orbit mode instead of a perfect circle, or flying in a curve during zipline mode instead of a straight line. There is a known issue with the DJI SDK which can cause the video previewer to drop frames and or become unresponsive. Some users have reported that opening and closing the DJI GO app before running autopilot minimizes this issue. There are several features that depend on a valid operator location in order to function and focus properly. Overall, we recommend giving your tablet time to capture an accurate location for the tablet before takeoff. It also helps to walk around a little bit to further assist your tablet. As a real-time flight control application, Autopilot can be very demanding on the system resources of your iOS device, particularly the processor. Close all open apps and be careful when operating Autopilot in high temperatures as this can lead to device overheating. During an overheating scenario, you may notice the Autopilot interface becoming sluggish, the video previewer dropping frames, pixelization, or the flight telemetry frequently becoming unavailable. The app might even crash. If you see any of these indicators, immediately disengage Autopilot and place your device in a cool location if possible, at least not in direct sunlight.